Yeah, these final fours are very exciting. Uh, we have four titans of the sport in the compound women's discipline coming up uh, just now. Just now, indeed, the athletes out onto the shooting line. And that's where we'll go for their introductions. So Joji Sareka Venom of India going up against Ella Gibson of Great Britain. And the story here though is about winning a stage to get through to Hermosillo where the World Cup final takes place next month. So far on the circuit, Venom has won one already, so she's qualified along with Cho from Korea and Ariola, the teenager from the USA. So another win here, it qualifies the athletes for Hermosillo. We know that Lopez Gibson here and Swami, the new world champion from India, have qualified already via rankings. So there's one spot up for grabs. More on that shortly as Venom gets ready for this semi-final. <laughs> yeah, we've seen uh, quite a lot of uh, high-level shooting from both of these athletes this year already. Um, yeah. Although you would have to say uh, Jyoti Venom has been just that little bit more commanding this season uh, compared to Ella Gibson. Yeah, continuation of the Indian story that has been this season. Well, they've set the bar high here. A cumulative score, of course, in compound archery. Uh, and uh, both of them, well, they haven't been outside the ten ring. No, indeed. And uh, the circumstances seem pretty good as well. There is a little bit of wind. Y you could see that as well. Um, Ella Gibson has a bit of uh, a piece of strand on her uh, stabilizer to uh, see how much wind is on her bow. And uh, it was moving, but it's, it seems to be a pretty uh, even wind, a pretty um, steady wind, uh, and, and not like blowing uh, harder and softer the whole time. Yeah, not blustery at all, so archers can contain that and handle it. And it's an interesting situation here, because both athletes have already qualified for Hermosillo, Venom through winning a stage and uh, Gibson through ranking. But of course, they'll want a World Cup uh, title, and Venom want another one. Gibson will be wanting her first one this season. But the real story really in this women's competition lies in not just how these two do, but particularly in that second semi-final, because Galantine, who goes up against Lopez, has to make the podium to qualify. She does indeed, and she also has the faith of, uh, well, therefore, has the faith of uh, other archers in their hands. So um, a lot of people will be looking at this match um, in anticipation. But uh, right now, I think, looking at this match, I think Ella Gibson will be looking for a bit of redemption for the rest of her season. Not that she has done badly, uh, because she has racked up a lot of points. Um, it's just not uh, comparable to the season she had last year. <laughs> All hanging a bit low there for uh, Ella, so even though her group is really, really good, I would probably adjust her side just a little bit down um, to elevate her group closer to the middle. So 
sounds like she was listening to you. I'm sure that by now Ella has uh, enough experience on the finals venue that she figured that out herself as well. Nine. The first real showing here of uh, maybe a bit of nervousness. So perfect for Gibson so far. Uh, these two archers have met uh, twice before uh, and have a head-to-head -head of uh, one apiece uh, in Antalya earlier on this season, the first stage of the uh, Hyundai Archery World Cup. Venom won uh, 148 to 146, and they met also in Paris last year, uh, where Gibson won in a shoot-off both shooting 148s in that regulation ends and uh, well Gibson needed an X to beat Venom's 10 back then so um, all square between the two of them as things stand so if you're Tanya Galantine you know that you have to win you've got two shots here if you win your semi-final you're booked you're going to Hermosillo if you don't you've got another shot in the bronze medal playoff is she going to be watching this to see who she might have to face in that bronze match um, I think there is a high likelihood she'll be watching this but more because she's sitting in the call room waiting um, and looking for something to do uh, I don't think for her it really matters who goes uh, to the finals because well uh, both Jyoti Venom and Ella Gibson are like extremely good shooters, so it doesn't really matter who you shoot against. Um, and in this game of archery, uh, it's it's important to shoot as best as you can, regardless of your opponent. So um, I think she might be watching, but more as a, a killing time kind of activity. Venom back in the middle at the start of the third end. And I have to say, this is a, a more convincing uh, Ella Gibson than what we've seen so far this season. Uh, she seems really focused, um, and it seems like she has kind of dialed in, uh, whereas before in the season, uh, we've seen her a bit almost searching to, uh, to find the middle. Um, here, she's gotten out of the gate really fast and um, is shooting with a bit more confidence. Again, it's another good group, but just a, a little bit left. Second perfect for Venom. Is it three in a row for Gibson? Yes, it is. She has not dropped a point yet. And we are just getting used to this level of quality that a nine, just one, could mean the end. It could indeed. Uh, we've seen it um, at the World Championships even, where uh, it was Jothi actually who shot a uh, 150 for bronze. So um, shooting a 150 doesn't even mean that you win the match anymore these days. Um, although giving you a very good chance. It, you can't get more. <laughs> uh, so you're definitely going to get a shoot off at least if you get a 150. But uh, the, the, the standard is so high, and, and as we talked before this season, so many new faces bursting onto the scene. Okay, not so much in this particular semi-final, but this season uh, we've seen that the strength in depth in the compound women's discipline go through the roof. Yeah, but let's not forget that last year that was Ella Gibson. Last year Ella Gibson burst onto the scene and uh, just uh, basically dominated the whole season. Um, and now uh, the same has happened to her, where uh, she was one of the favorites going into the season. And then a couple really young shooters have just come and, and uh, take the throne a couple times. So it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting dynamic and it's interesting to see, but mostly really you know, cool and, uh, and, and good as a fan of archery. Venom of India trailing Gibson by a single point will start in number four. Nine. 
with five arrows to go, um, a two-point deficit is not impossible. But with the way that Ella is shooting and with the confident look on her face that she has right now, um, it's not going to be easy in any way. Yeah. Although y you could say that the last end, um, Ella shot to ten liners. So if they would have just been a little further out, um, she could have had two nines as well. So it's not, it's not impossible to think of. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of movement there as well, and uh, Gibson just uh, a sigh of relief. Kondo there to lift that one up uh, but she stays perfect Ella Gibson and goes into the final end with a two-point lead but there were a couple of arrows there that weren't as comfortable as you were saying earlier on yeah even though she has only shot 10 so far um, she has had a couple that are very close and not being in the 10 and that's something that Jyoti must also recognize and, and see so although unlikely that Ella's gonna shoot uh, well two nines and uh, not even one but two nines um, Jyoti will have to kind of fight for it still because it's it's not over until it's over yeah, and she'll shoot first in the final end so uh, a 150 on the card uh, for Ella Gibson world record at threat no not in this uh, instance because the world record has uh, 12 X's and uh, Ella has already shot more uh, non X's than three so so out of the 15 arrows 12 of them were in the uh, four centimeter diameter X ring on the target and who holds that record that is uh, Sarah Lopez in this case now I understand that Ella Gibson actually holds more world records now than Sara Lopez, but Lopez holds this one. Yeah, so um, it, I don't think it's necessarily personal, but um, it does give you an idea of how good Ella Gibson has been shooting over the past two years and uh, well, the level of shooting in general. I mean, some of the world records that Sara Lopez has set before were deemed almost impossible to beat, um, and Ella has done uh, well exactly that. <laughs> Just about staying inside the 10 ring there, Gibson. Arrows are running out for Jyoti Saraka Venom here. She can only do what she can and put it in the 10. But if Gibson, well, if Gibson gets a 10 here, surely this is done. Yeah, then there's not much that can happen. Like uh, Ella would have her have to make a grave mistake. She's holding on a couple of times here, feeling the nerves. Finishes with another perfect uh, 148 out of a possible 150. Leaves Gibson with a nine to progress to the final. And she's gone perfect, got the 150. And that, of course, is enough to take her through to the gold medal match. There were a few nervy arrows in there, but every single one of them went into the 10. Venom shot a great 148, but not enough to beat Gibson. Venom will come out for the bronze medal match a little bit later on. Gibson goes on to go for gold here in Paris.